Hello Aries, this is your um, five card reading using a tote deck. That's the way I call it. It's the accurate, very accurate cards, okay? But And they're considered scary cards to a lot of people, so you're not into scary cards. And, you know, you may not like this reading. But this starts, the energy starting October 21st, 22nd, 23rd of 2020 for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The energy is coming in for the majority of Aries. That's what I'm asking for. Positive or negative, we take the readings and then we work through them. Remember, Tarot is here to help, not to hinder. And it may not resonate with all Aries individuals. But I hope to reach, you know, quite a bit of you. You know, quite a few of you. Um, incoming energy. Wow, Aries. You may be actually celebrating more than most people are right now for some reason. Um, also, it's abundance with these cards. It's it's bringing on um, things that, that are emotionally contentment for you that are abundance because they're cups energy. Let's see what's going on. That's the incoming energy. In the past, you were gaining some money and you had some independence in the past. And it could be the distant past. I say about six months ago, a lot of people were doing a lot better than they are right now. But you had independence. You had gain. You had that you were, you know, you were liking life a little bit there, you know. The obstacle, what is coming in, you know, the moon in reverse. You find out someone lied about you or someone's um, being hateful, salty, mean to you. Okay, that's the obstacle. And sometimes, for a few of you, you could be doing this to somebody. So, we'll find out, okay? Remember, the, these stories can change up as I clarify. Plus, I'll give you a pick a, um, pick a card, pick an energy love reading at the end, the mini love reading. Current environment. You're not making a decision towards something right now. It's like you're holding back on something. The two of wands. It doesn't mean that you, you can't make a choice or a new direction or a new decision. It's like you're holding off on it for some reason. What is coming towards you? Someone wants to come out of betrayal. So I have a feeling it has to do with that moon situation. Someone wants to come out of betrayal. Something you cut off before. I know, I know. But you have that Mars in retrograde still. And we're having, a, you know, the Mercury retrograde. It's all happening, you know. The outcome, wow, you turn your situation around, your fortune. I do feel like someone is trying to um, make amends with you in some way. But I also see you looking towards your future, you know, what you want in your future. Let me clarify these with the smaller tote deck. You see this? It's a mini read. I, I, I like to use the same deck. I wish a lot of the cards had different sizes, but they don't. But this is the clarifying cards. You had gain in the past. You were independent. You were liking life. So the Nine of Pentacles, the gain card. Two cards, please, for that, for Aries. There's that moon again. There's that moon. You were lied. There's that ten of swords. I mean, a lot of doubles. I love these cards because they're so accurate. They really are. You know, you want an accurate reading. This, you know, why? If you didn't want an accurate, reading, why are you even watching a tarot um, channel? But the nine of pentacles was attached to that as something you didn't see um, straight up with the ten of swords. You, someone you had cut off is kind of lying about you. You're you're doing real well, and maybe they see that. But they're lying about you. Like I said, for a few few of you, you could have been doing this lying about somebody. But it looks like you had a lot of gain and independence. And um, because because someone had lied or something you didn't see clearly, you cut something out. Maybe you didn't see this person clearly and you cut them out. It could be all kind of reasons like that. Don't don't judge me yet. Let me keep keep on reading to find out. Because we got the moon twice and the ten of swords, so that's pretty um, accurate energy. That's very important in this reading. So the moon in reverse is the obstacle. I need two cards, please. It could be that you're not seeing something clearly. Desire, maybe you thought somebody, maybe you thought somebody had, had desires towards somebody else or another situation that didn't involve you. You're not seeing this person clearly. That's what I'm feeling with the queen of disc. The queen of disc wants to tell you something that you may have thought they did something to you and they want to let you know. Or you want them, you want to let them know the queen of this can be an earth sign, a little bit older than you or more mature and, you know, in age, I should say. They're, they're looked up highly in the community. They're good people. I find that they're good people. They look like they are, but something that you're not seeing clearly with them. So you may want to 
find out what that is, or maybe not. Maybe you do. It could be that you do see it clearly, but the it is the obstacle, the moon in reverse, where maybe you're not seeing things for what they are. Now, this um, current situation is the two of wands. It's like you haven't made a final decision towards something in your life right now. It's like you're waiting. Um, I need two cards for the two of wands. Taking control is what it's all about for Aries. You haven't, wow. Okay, you have, You really haven't made a decision on where you want to go with your overall contentment. It looks like you do get what you're wanting. But it also could be that you're dealing with the norms of society, you know, conformity, contracts. could be marriage, you know, going before a marriage type situation. You haven't committed, I don't feel, to a, a situation. Maybe because of the Ten of Swords energy, maybe because of Moon energy, maybe you don't trust situations. Maybe you felt like someone betrayed you. But I do feel like someone on the outside does want to come out of betrayal with you. They don't want to be in this situation. They, they're feeling kind of down, you know. And it looks like you may have said that you were going to cut them off or vice versa. So the Ten of Swords, which is coming towards you in reverse. I need two cards, please. It also could be that you stay off um, ruin in some way. Like you, you keep it from you. So the Ten of Swords in reverse. Two cards for Aries. Yeah, coming out of sleepless nights, someone's having trouble sleeping, and it's hurt their money situation. Someone on the outside wants to come out of, you know, they're, 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 they're not having any sleep. Something that you possibly had tried to cut off or thought about cutting off, or, like I said, you cut off, you stop ruin from coming into your life and sleepless nights and something from taking your money. It could be either or. For, for those that are looking, or are looking for love relationships, and I know I'm going to give you the pick of three, love it could be that someone wants to come out of ruin in a relationship with you. If it's the outside environment and when it comes to finances, money, and just living life in general, it looks like you avoid a negative situation by holding off on something. And your fortune turns around, something that you don't trust. So I see two different situations for Aries here. Not everybody's looking for straight out love, you know. But it could be a person because I do see a person here. So the Wheel of Fortune in the upright, the final outcome, and I'll give the pick a card love reading, mini love reading. I need two cards for the Wheel of Fortune. Turn it in your favor for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Why is it there? Oh, wow. Wow, I love these cards. Okay, Wheel of Fortune twice. It, it, yeah, your fortune is turn around from worry from not having enough. Okay, apparently something taxed your finances. You had finances in the past and something came around and messed you up with society. Because there's that four of pentacles where something kind of like held off on money. You turn your situation around with the five of pentacles. You may still a little worry about it, but don't. Okay, don't, 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 don't worry and don't obsess. Don't chain yourself to negativity and things that are, you know, weighing you down. Because your fortune will change. You got the wheel of fortune twice. But eventually you're going to have to make a decision towards something, okay? Don't don't hold off too long. But I do see that maybe you do avoid ruin in some way, okay? Let me do a pick a three now. Pick a card love reading. I'm going to use the angel answers for this. Because they got a yes and no cards in here. That's why I like them. Um, along with the other cards. So I need three cards for the angel answers. I mean for Aries. Some of them are rising. Starting October 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Remember, it starts there. It doesn't end there. So your fortune is going to change. And it's going to continue on past October, okay? So I need three cards for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. For pick a card, pick a pile, pick a path, pick an energy love reading. Three cards, please. I love these cards. They're so accurate. So, you know, you ever get these cards? I, I had other cards, and I still do, but I had one... One deck I had years ago that was so fluffy I couldn't stand it. You know, sugar, too sugary, you know. Three cards from the Moonology to tell us more about Aries Love Life. Sun, Moon, and Rising, October 21st. Pick a path reading. Pick an energy. Pick a card. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what's going on. And three cards. 
For Aries from the 8th house to row, the house of sexuality, let us know what what's going down. House of mysticism. <laughs> Aries, sun, moon, rising. October 21st, pick a card, love reading. Now, like I said, pick an energy. I bring them all together at the end anyway. I try to anyway, because I do that for secondary energies. You know, sometimes a lot of times they relate. Now, if you pick this section, it's up to you. Yeah, I do see where you have to decision-making time, and you may put it off a little bit, but it's up to you where you want to go. But it is time to take action. You don't have to, but it's saying it's time to take action on collaborating with something that has to do with your finances or just overall well-being when it comes to relationships. But you don't have to. I do see someone in this deck that has to do with relationships does want to come out of a betrayal situation, but you may not want to. You do have success coming in. I guess we got the wheel of fortune there, okay? You got success coming in. Look at the bigger picture. You may be missing something, especially with the moon, but look at the bigger picture. Page of air, an honest and truthful um, messages coming in and out or going towards the truth or truthful situations, honesty. Also, some of you could be dealing with a um, error or a sign, but um, I feel like you're going to get messages that are straight to the point, and so are you, okay? You're going you're gonna to be receiving them and sending them with, when it comes to love situations. You're going to tell the truth. You're going to want the truth from other people. If you're asking about something with love, and maybe you're asking if they're doing something, um, this is a yes or no question for people in this section. No, if they are, if you feel like they're being, um, if they're saying they're being honest and you, you don't know, it, um, it'll be no, whatever you're asking. Okay. Whatever you're thinking of in a relationship, it's no, they're not, no. Surrender to divine, trust your intuition and let things unfold naturally in your life. Because if you don't, you're going to have sleepless nights. Someone is having sleepless nights over you, too. I feel that in this energy right here in the outside. It's the nine of air. Someone is feeling, you know, kind of trapped. They can't sleep over a, that ten of swords information or card. So surrender to divine. You know, you can decide what you want to do because you may not want to. When I'm bringing these all together, it's up to you. You can take it or leave it. You really could. But I do feel like someone... Um, really wants to come out of a negative situation with you. Whether you accept them or not, it's up to you. Um, like I said, you had a, a question. If you had a question in your mind about it or wondering about them, the answer is no. Okay, the answer is no. Um, it's up to you, though, when you have time to take action. But whatever you do, take action, go for it. Don't stay in that two of wands energy where you're not moving, okay? Because I do feel like you're going to have a new collaboration or a new energy where people are working together. It's more stability in your life. Look at the bigger picture. Success is at hand when it comes to relationships. You want the truth. Um, they want the truth. But I do see someone wants to come out of... Um, a negative situation with you, but it's up to you whether you accept it. I do see you having success in your life, to be honest. And I don't know if that's what you're wanting in, in a relationships. You know, taking old relationships back could be different for everybody. But it's up to you, Aries. You got the wheel of fortune twice. Use it, um, claim it, and go forward, okay? I mean, this is your reading. I'm going to let this go, okay? Bye.